you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing our hair with the Life and Swift blow dryer and a round brush. So this is gonna be a full deep dive and review of this Life and Swift. I also am super excited to partner with Life and to give two of you guys a free hair dryer. So make sure that you comment down below if you're interested in winning. I'll be giving away a blue one and a white one and I'm really, really excited to see who wins the straw. Also you guys, make sure you are following me on Instagram because that is how I'm gonna to be able to message the winner. I can't message you if your profile is private, if you're international, or if you just do YouTube and not Instagram. Because YouTube doesn't allow me to message you, I need you on the gram, okay? So I'm super excited to show you how to get this bouncy blowout look. We're doing a salon-inspired blowout at home. It is possible, and we're gonna do it today with a Life & Swift. It comes with two attachments, a smoothing attachment. It also comes with a diffuser for curly hair. The ones that I'm going to be giving away do not include these attachments but otherwise are pretty much the same as this one besides the color I love that they come in different cute colors because I like all my items to spark joy I hate having ugly things so having a cute hair dryer is so nice also this is five times as fast as a traditional hair dryer we will be comparing it to just kind of like a run-of-the-mill dryer you can see already that size is a big difference and also so is speed noise etc when you're doing a blowout look like this it's really helpful to have a dryer like the life in as opposed to like a traditional dryer this one's smaller you can get closer to the hair and it's also more lightweight and quieter so I'll show you how this one sounds. It's a lot louder and it's just bulkier altogether. It's heavier, it's harder for me to hold. And you're gonna need two hands for this look. So let's jump right into it. We're gonna rough dry our hair until it's about 70% dry. I got out of the shower about 25 minutes ago, so it's already started to dry a little bit. This dryer is super fast, so it's only gonna take a couple of minutes and I'm going to circle from cold to warm. Um, I'm gonna keep the cold air focused on my scalp just to cool everything down, keep my hair nice and healthy. Maybe I'll switch to warm if I wanna speed things Things up. This button here is for the temperature cycling mode and you can switch throughout temperatures with the click of the button while you're working. And the LED color ring here, let me turn it on and show you. So that LED color ring will indicate what temperature the dryer is so that you can just do a quick look while you're drying and just keep pushing the button. You don't have to stop. It's just super efficient. So let's start with our rough dry and then we will get into the blowout portion of this look. My hair is about 70% dry, so we're about to start our round brush process, but I have one more little cool thing. If you long hold this button, it will cycle automatically, changing from cold to warm to hot, and that way if you want cold air on your scalp but heat on the ends, or heat on the scalp but not on your fragile ends, then it will do it for you and you can just keep drying. So I'll show you how that looks when you're using it. You turn it on and you long hold this button. And you see the colors changing. It's automatically changing temperatures while you're working. Okay, now we're gonna section the hair. And I have a lot of hair and it's really quite wavy. So I like to work in smaller sections to get the best look. And I'm gonna clip most of it away and work with about this much hair at a time. And we'll do the next section. Okay, you guys, it has been a bit of time. Let's pull our rollers out. Oh my God. 
I don't think I've gotten a blowout this good at home ever. And honestly, this was super easy. If you get the right brush, it makes it easier as well. You have to figure out what brush is best for your hair type. Uh, last week when I was using my life in, I used a ceramic brush. It was good, but the boar brushes are a lot better for me. So just a heads up, brushes do matter. Let's take out this one back here. This is so satisfying. And honestly, my regular blow dryer could never give me that curl. Last one. Wow. Honestly, you can't say that that doesn't look fire. I have a wavy, very frizzy hair, and this, you would never know. Um, 10 out of 10. Definitely do recommend the Life In. It's five times faster than a traditional dryer. It's quieter if you have a little ones at home. And then that cold mode just really takes the cake uh, for me because several times as I was blow drying, I was getting a little hot and being able to switch into the cold mode is just so nice. It's also healthier for your hair and gives the hair a lot of shine and a lot of bounce. I'm absolutely taking this to Europe because I have two sisters that are going with me and you know they're going to be trying to use my dryer. So as long as I have this little tool um, to be able to pass around with the girls, it will be okay um, because this is just so much faster than a traditional hair dryer. It's also just a lot tinier and uh, less of a hassle altogether. You can achieve salon looking hair at home with this bad boy. And yeah, I definitely recommend this life and dryer. I'm really happy with my hair. It was actually totally worth the time. And I can see in the back too, there's no frizz, there's no curl. So start loving your hair and experience the difference with life and everything will be linked down below. And I can't wait to see who wins the giveaway. As I said before, we are giving away two of these bad boys thanks to life and and I can't wait to see who wins. Make sure that you comment down below for your entry and also make sure you are following on Instagram so that I can shoot you a message. I have a white one of these and a baby blue one and I can't wait to see who wins.